If you are at all the kind of person who dreams of peace in the world, then these last few weeks have been pretty disheartening. There have been so many images coming out of Afghanistan as the U.S. evacuates the country following 20 years of war. It's really hard to look at these images of planes full of refugees, of folks whose hopes and dreams are being dashed in the midst of a takeover from a foreign power that is not at all friendly to human rights. Indeed, it has been a time in which it can feel easy to despair. But it's so interesting to think about these events in terms of Scripture, because the message of Scripture seems to be that God is doing a new thing, that God's kingdom is emerging, that it is going to reign, and that there will be a time in which there is no war. And so for us who are here in this moment, sometimes the tension, the difficulty is the gap between what we see, all of these images, and what we know to be true about history. And so we live in this between time, between a world that is coming in which war will be no more and the world now in which there is a war. So some days, for me personally, in my prayer life, I just pray for the patience of God, that God will put within me the desire to continue to pray for that which doesn't always seem possible, that there might be a day where, where there is no more war. And indeed, a day where we don't even study war anymore. Which is something that the prophet Isaiah said many, many years ago. And so today, in the midst of this time in which we are watching this violence unfold, in which we are praying for what sometimes feels hopeless, today I wanted to read and to ask you to listen to these words from the prophet Isaiah who was probably writing at a time that was very similar to ours, a time when hope seemed far off. But Isaiah, like us, like all people, continued to find hope in the promises of God. And so with that, I invite you to listen now to these words from the prophet. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nation shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations. He shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Well, as you go through your week, I hope you will keep uh, these words on your heart. That we may continue to pray for a world in which nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and that we may learn to not study war anymore.